noticed walking tours, um, of which we did many, where it was the same group of very dedicated docents, Claire and Bill and other knowledgeable people among them who would be called upon to just show up one day and lead a neighborhood walking tour with virtually no scripts, no rehearsals, or anything. We did get much more sophisticated as time went on and prepared better. For me, the quintessential story of program success might be the Craftsman Weekend. We learned in the earliest years that by doing a tour of Craftsman Homes or the Green and Green work in Pasadena, we could draw quite a crowd. Typically, we would have two or 300 people come on a walking tour, and our first big Green and Green tour, we had over 800 people signed up to go, and we were very excited, and it poured rain. That's right. And we debated whether to cancel the tour, but we had the docents all lined up, and we figured, well, some people will come, so we'll go ahead. And I think 780 of the 800 people showed up and took that tour in the rain, and it was a huge success. So building on that gradually, thanks to Lou and Kathy Phelps, who were very involved, both served as board chairs at various times, we took the idea of the Craftsman Revival and began to add exhibits on the front porches of the open houses, and then we added a lecture, and then we added a t an extra tour the day before, and the Craftsman Weekend then turned into this three-day conference-like event, which this year will be the 22nd one. <laughs> but it started out as a very simple tour, which just attracted a huge audience of Craftsman devotees. And we built on that into a whole three-day conference full of information about that period in architectural history. I think it's important to mention that Bob Winner was quoted recently as saying that the Pasadena Heritage Craftsman Weekend has now exceeded the years that there was a craftsman movement in Pasadena. <laughs> I think that's true. I think that's true. And we've done probably close to 100 different architectural tours over 35 years, walking tours and bus tours, um, providing step-on guide service for out-of-town visitors, as well as almost every neighborhood in Pasadena, with a few exceptions, we've touched upon with tour visits or whole walking tours of those neighborhoods. In fact, we were the first organization to do walking tours in Bungalow Heaven. After it was surveyed, then it became the first landmark district, but in between there, Pasadena Heritage started doing tours in Bungalow Heaven, which were very popular, and I remember Bill was very involved with those as well. This was also a good way for us to build our membership because with every tour, we found new members who joined us. And I bet Bill remembers the church tours that we did. Yes, I had an idea that uh, because we have so many significant, architecturally significant as well as historically significant, central city churches of every denomination or most of the major denominations, that this would be a great topic. First year, it poured buckets, buckets. It was just a deluge. But people trooped on, and we did it. Well, and I do remember the, the last church tour we did, because we did have one relatively successful tour. We only had about 200 people, but every one of them loved it. And we had organ performances in three of the churches. So not only did you get to experience the church and hear about its history, and the architectural styles are all quite different, but then you got to hear this beautiful music in the setting of the church. And these organs themselves are historic treasures in at least two cases. So mm -hmm. it was um, great fun. And they are a wonderful resource. And lots of people who live in the area have never been in these buildings because they're not a member of the church. We have done tours of the work of significant architects, Wallace Neff, Reginald Johnson, Myron Hunt. In more recent years, we've done a lot of modern tours and sort of rediscovered the more recent decades in Pasadena with Gregory Ain and Buffin Hensman and Pulliam and Matthews and a whole host of more recent architects. 
So through the years, we've amassed quite an amazing collection of tour information and tour scripts. And as I said earlier, I think probably touched every neighborhood in Pasadena one way or another mm -hmm. with the nearly 100 different architectural tours that we've done.